Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, yeah, something a little new, something a little different today. Uh, Justin and I went and just did a little bit of shopping and uh, walked around uh, Ann Arbor today. Went around to a couple record stores and like media, just like kind of media stores, uh, places that had games and movies, things like that. And I just wanted to record the experience and kind of make like a vlog out of it. And so that's what I did today. And I just kind of wanted to show it and, you know, kind of see how it turned out. So uh, hopefully I'll enjoy. I'll show you what I got at the end. Um, yeah, if you know, uh, I kind of want to do it again. So maybe more of these to come. All right. Here we are walking to our first stop, Underground Sounds Record Shop. Uh, right off the bat, we can tell this place has a really cool vibe. Noticing just some of the records, uh, see some modern baseball. So uh, already that's a good sign. Probably gonna have some pretty cool stuff in this place. Sports is a really great album. Uh, I don't have any modern baseball on vinyl, so I'm really thinking about picking that one up. Got a couple more Bobo records. Notice some municipal waste. Uh, the logo is really hard to miss. Uh, just the, the coolest cover art. See this box set of uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Really cool, quite expensive. Just wanted to take a look. Looking through the used stuff and uh, run across Alaska from Between the Buried and Me. Great album, always liked it. Uh, probably not quite enough to pick up today. Uh, notice the ceremony section. Not quite familiar with this with this album. Just find some citizen. Uh, might might add this one to the list. Notice turnstile. Uh, was looking for. Uh, Was looking for some title fight, but then found the uh, turnstile right next to where it would have been. Really love Glow On, one of my favorites of the last couple years. No title fight though. Maybe next time. Earlier turnstile record, uh, got a lot of good songs on this one as well. Might also grab that. Was looking for Follow the Leader on vinyl. I uh, just really love the artwork of that record and was just hoping to pick it up just kind of as a nice display piece, but uh, they didn't have it, but they did have this pretty cool uh, self-titled album. A little expensive on that one. I assume it's probably worth it, but a little more than I was willing to spend today. I always loved flipping through the posters uh, in the mall, so gave them a quick little flip. Nothing, nothing really caught my eye today. And here we're going to our second and I think final stop of the night, your media exchange. It's 
cold out. And of course, the first thing Jessica notices... We have an old Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you have a drunk Bailey's from a shoe? This place has got a lot of stuff, so uh, I guess I should get started. I head over to the CD wall first. That's uh, one of the main things I was looking for today were some CDs. There are a lot of them. Uh, the Marilyn Manson section catches my eye a little bit. Used to be a big time Marilyn Manson fan back in like middle school. See, uh, see this old album? It's like a couple bucks. Might, uh, might go ahead and grab that. Notice the, uh, the still factory sealed Antichrist Superstar. I uh, kind of kind of regret not not having grabbed that one now looking back so much stuff it's like anytime I go and look uh, look at music whether it be uh, vinyl records, CDs, whatever. It's like I just forget everything I, I enjoy listening to. I can't think of any any bands that I like, and so I just get lost. It's so hard to uh, look, look for what you're actually wanting to listen to, at least for me. A lot of these old CDs are definitely bringing back some memories. Notice the uh, VHS section. Not huge, but uh, you know, I, I like VHS. Again, it's it's just about the about the the artwork on, on pieces like this. Just cool. See these old Disney big plastic box VHSs. Those uh really bring back some memories for Jess, I think. Got a few horror movies. I noticed this cool Independence Day looks really clean. I, I, I love this movie as a kid. Notice it has the uh, uh, lenticular hologram. It's like two or three bucks. Probably got to grab that. Uh, Blair Witch Project as well. You know, it's it's spooky season. Love horror movies on VHS. There's just something about it. Uh, random DVD wall. Don't really grab DVDs too much. It's kind of like in between VHS and Blu-ray. Usually avoid it. Maybe, maybe a few horror, horror titles that I would pick up if I came across them. Jess notices a Taking Back Sunday Tell All Your Friends cassette tape. That's pretty sick. I'm assuming it's probably uh, like a repressing, something like that, something that they came out with in the last, you know, last while. Some cool uh, tapes here. I've never really picked up tapes too much, uh, but again, they're nice. Notice a uh, Give Up by Postal Service, one of my favorite albums of all time. Jess notices the Spice Girls, of course. Set tapes aren't something I really collect. Video games, on the other hand, that is definitely something I collect. I noticed that they had a game section here. Not too big of a game section, but they got some some stuff. I see this UMD Toxic Avengers just sealed. That's just a really weird find. I love PSP games and movies. Just such a weird thing to do to be able to like buy a physical copy of a movie to watch in your PSP. And it's the Toxic Avenger. I love trauma. 
Might have to grab that one. That's just a little too weird to pass up. I'm not spotting anything too crazy in the game section. They have a glass case as well, but it was mostly like newer games, like some PS5 stuff down there. A lot of Xbox games. Not really an Xbox uh, collector. I'm more of a PlayStation kind of guy. But, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pick a few things up here and there if, if, if it looks nice. And uh, this this Bioshock 2 really just kind of sticks out with the with the shiny packaging, the cover. It's just a really nice, clean looking copy. So I, I pick, you know, pick that up. I always love steel books. I don't know what it is about them, but uh, I don't even know what this game is. But, uh, you know, I'm always going to take a look at a steel book. Yeah, a real nice, clean, complete copy of Bioshock 2. I want to say it was like five or six bucks, which, you know, not a great price or anything, but uh, you know, it looks clean and I just, you know, kind of wanted to pick something up. Infinite as well. This is this one I've never played. I played the uh, first and second Bioshock, but I never played Infinite. I don't even have an Xbox 360, so if I were going to play it, this is not going to be the way. Cool Akira box set. Might do a little, just another quick round through everything, all the DVDs and Blu-rays. Notice some strategy guides, or I believe Fangoria magazines. That's pretty cool. A lot of Blu-rays. I never really watch movies too much, to be honest. If I if I buy them, it's really just like to collect the case art. Uh, notice a little anime section here. I wanted to see if they had uh, Ninja Scroll on Blu-ray, but I think that's a really expensive movie for some reason. Also, I just didn't didn't see it here. Have a whole horror horror section. So uh, definitely going to take my time and look through some of these. Uh, again, DVDs aren't something I really pick up unless it's something really special. But, you know, it's always nice to see a horror section. I still notice I'm really bad at saying the word horror. Big Friday the 13th fan just have always, always had a soft spot for this uh, chapter four cover. Just think it's the, the coolest one in the series. Got quite a few other Friday the 13th down here. You know, I uh, I thought about picking one or two up, but it's just not, not something I really needed for myself today. looked at everything in the store really great place definitely gonna come back oh the the descent that's a that's a pretty pretty creepy movie I haven't seen it in a long time but uh you know I'm not sure I might pick that one up Really enjoyed uh, seeing this place. It was just cool to uh, get the, to look at all this stuff. I've never been here, but I'll certainly be back. Just got back. Justin and I had a fun night out. I uh, went to a couple record slash media stores in Ann Arbor that we've never been to. Uh, let's see. The first place we went was a record store called Underground Sounds in Ann Arbor. Uh, place was really cool. Grabbed a couple things there. There were like a lot of albums I wanted and probably quite a few that I'm going to be getting in the near future. 
Uh, but, you know, I didn't want to break the bank today, so just grabbed a couple things that I didn't think I had for the collection. Uh, trying to rebuild my vinyl collection. First thing I got was uh, the Citizen album. Uh, this one is, uh, it's As You Please. It's probably my second or third favorite Citizen album. They didn't have the one that I wanted the most, but uh, this one looked cool and it's a blue and orange swirl vinyl. That store was uh, Glow On by Turnstile. One of my favorite releases of the last couple of years, honestly. I believe this album came out in 2021. Super solid album, just a banger all the way through, honestly. I think this is a second printing. It's got the Made in Czech Republic sticker on the back. I think that means it's a second printing. Yeah, I just wanted to pick it up because I didn't think I had this on, on vinyl. It's just a really great album. Uh, I had a lot of like, a lot, a lot of the stuff that I like. The, the other vinyl shop, the other record store that I went to in Ann Arbor, I uh, had mostly like jazz and 70s stuff. You know, not not exactly the stuff that was my vibe, but this place was more like uh, underground indie, uh, you know, had like some cool electronic and hip hop records, but a ton of like punk and metal and uh, just like indie rock albums. Like I could have spent a long time in that place, had a lot of really cool stuff. And then the second place we went was... Uh, let me find the receipt so I can remember the name of the store. I'm sure it showed in the video. Uh, yeah, Your Media Exchange in Ann Arbor. Uh, this place was sick. I could have spent forever in there. We're talking uh, CDs, VHS, Blu-ray, DVDs, video games. Um, they had they had like like figures. Um, just, just every kind of media you could imagine. It, it was, it was amazing. I was, uh, I, I was mainly going to look at CDs, oddly enough. I have like been super obsessed recently with like getting some of my favorite CDs from back in the days of, of, of my youth back in the ancient times, kind of like, um, rebuilding a little bit of that collection. I just think CDs are really cool. They just kind of like bring me back to a, a time where I, you know, would just carry my Discman around everywhere and just always had something spinning and it was just a good time. Uh, one of the bands that I, I would say back in my CD days that I really listened to the most in the old Discman was Korn. <laughs> issues, if you can see it, it's, uh, yeah, there we go, it was Issues. How much was this one? $9.99, still sealed. Like this is, a, I'm pretty sure, factory sealed copy of, of Issues. Um, you know, we still got the parental advisory sticker. That's, uh, that, uh, I, I, lo I love getting them with the parental advisory stickers. Those are, those are always great. Um, I remember this album, I think, came out with three or maybe even four different covers. I, I, it was such a big deal when they when they released this album because it was you could you could submit your art i remember that and corn actually would they chose I believe it was their top 3 or top 4 favorite ones and they released all of those as as an as an album cover and then variants of the album cover and this is the one that i had uh when it came out and so i was happy that this is the one that they that they had at the store because this is the one that I had. Uh, you know, I'll probably keep this sealed. I don't even have a CD player, to be honest with you, so I probably won't be listening to it. But, you know, really pristine, beautiful copy of this. I'll take the sticker off the front, most likely. And, uh, yeah, really happy with that pickup. Life is peachy as well, to being in my mom, the back of my mom's car with, with my headphones and the Discman playing. And, man, this album, I listened to it front to back, just... A lot. I probably shouldn't have at the age that I did because this is a pretty graphic album, but you know, uh, whatever. Uh, 11 bucks on this one. Pretty good price. Again, sealed. Factory sealed album. I don't, I'm very surprised that these were factory sealed. I don't think that they're reprints or anything. I, I, be, I believe these are original. Um, you know, CD rock, brand new. So yeah, I, 
pretty pumped to find that. I don't really know why they were all sealed and brand new, but uh, yeah, here, here they are. And then, uh, you know, rounding out the list of, of corn, we, we got the self-titled album again, man. Uh, you know, blind still to this day, one of the hardest songs I've ever heard that fucking intro. There's no way you cannot uh, not get down with that. I, I again, I, you know, sealed 10 bucks, really hard to beat. I'm going to take the stickers off of these. And again, you know, I, I don't, I don't think that they ever re-released these. I, I want to say they're probably original, uh, original releases, 10 bucks for that. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty hard to beat. Great condition. Uh, these are, these are flawless. They definitely don't look like they're 25 years old, but, uh, you know, I, I think that they are either way. I just really wanted them for the art and just the memories. And so I ha happened to find the, these aren't the first three, but I, you know, the, three of the first four corn albums all sealed brand new grab those so now i just need to get a uh, follow the leader which is the main one i was looking for and i'll be set on that also picked up this uh marilyn manson smells like children this is a very early marilyn manson album i i was a big marilyn manson fan back in my early high school days uh, yeah, I think Marilyn Manson's got some pretty bad press recently. I don't really keep up with that stuff too much, but, uh, you know, regardless, I had these CDs back in the day. This one was four bucks. Um, this one just, I don't know, just kind of brings back some, some cool memories. And I like a lot of the songs on this album. Um, yeah, so, you know, for the price, I picked it up. I was, I was in the CD buying mood and this is one that I used to have and don't have anymore. So picked it up. Uh, next, oh, okay. So let's see what was next. Next, uh, next we hit the, the VHS section. Uh, they didn't have a ton of VHS, but it had a few that I, that, that I, that I liked, but this one kind of stood out as looking really nice. Independence day. Love this movie when it came out, but what really sold me on this one was that it had this, uh, like hologram lithograph inside. And anytime you find something that comes with like the little extra stuff like that, especially, you know, when it's like these cool, like, oh yeah. So the white house exploding when you turn it, that's fuck. That's sick. That's sick. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, you know, it's $2, right? It's $2. I would pay $2 for the, for the lift lithograph it by itself, but a perfect condition independence day uh, VHS, I thought it would be kind of nice to add to the collection. I, I have a few VHSs left from my childhood that I, you know, that I, that I like, I've got, you know, like some, a few horror movies and stuff. And so I thought this one would be pretty cool to add to the list. So, you know, not, not horror, but sci-fi horror a little bit. And so, yeah, so grab that one. Uh, I think I grabbed one more VHS I did, which was the Blair Witch Project. Just an incredible movie. The marketing around this movie was awesome. And I just really like horror VHSs. I think that that's just a really great um, platform for horror movies. I think the lower quality just kind of really adds to the experience, especially a movie like The Blair Witch. Uh, like, I believe this was the first found, found footage horror movie ever. And so having this one on VHS, I think is pretty cool. Again, three bucks. Why not? And I believe they were having a sale. It was like buy three used things, get one for free. And so I think Blair Witch was, was what I got for free. Can't beat that. Uh, they also had a video game section and I saw a couple things there that I, you know, didn't really want to pass up. Uh, first one being this toxic Avengers UMD, uh, sealed. I think it might be loose in there. Unfortunately, I think that the UMD may have come loose from the, uh, from, from the clip. And so I don't know if there's any way I could get it back in there. It's 13 bucks. I just thought it was so weird that, that, you know, that they, first of all, even made the toxic Avenger on UMD movie and that, uh, I, you know, could find it sealed still. Uh, so that, that was something I really just couldn't pass up. It was just a little too weird and, uh, a little too cool for, for me to, to not grab that. So toxic Avenger on UMD movie, <laughs> grab that. 
And then the last thing I got was Bioshock 2 on Xbox 360. I don't really collect for Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure I don't have any Xbox 360 games anymore. Um, but this was a beautiful copy of Bioshock 2. I really like the, the reflective covers on, on games like this. They just kind of stand out a little bit. They look really nice. And this is just a super clean copy. Uh, complete. I believe it was complete. Yep. Had the, the manual, which was in really good shape and the disc looked really good and it was, you know, six bucks, right? So just grab that. There were a couple other 360 games there, but I really like the Bioshock series. And this is just such a beautiful cover and such a nice copy of this game that I wanted to grab it. Couldn't really leave it on the shelf. So I did that. I didn't even look at the disc on this one, but yeah, it looks, looks brand new. So I don't know if they resurface stuff there, but this, the, the game itself, everything about it is just in fantastic shape. So I think this was just a well taken care of copy of Bioshock 2. And, uh, you know, I always like that. I, I'm kind of a, kind of a condition guy. I like things to be in nice condition and this one certainly was. So that's, uh, I believe everything that I picked up all in all, I think we probably spent about a hundred bucks on everything today. You know, we paid, I'd say retail on the, uh, on the albums and you know i don't know if there are any like super great deals on on any of the things that we bought but i just wanted to have something to pick up and and and, and show everyone and you know just kind of have some cool things from the from the trip today so yeah, all in all i think it was a pretty successful time and uh yeah we had good food and got to walk around downtown ann arbor at night and it was a good time so yeah um that's about it